So it's time for part two of painting this dragon. I really wasn't sure what to do with the wings at all, but I've decided to continue this blue across the outer edges and then have the belly color scheme as the under or the kind of lining between the framework of the wings. It's the thing that was most obvious, but I wasn't sure if that was the route that I was going to take. I was thinking about using some other colors maybe, but um, nope, this is, this is how we're going. So of course I want it to match, so I'm doing that same purple undertone, then I'm coming back over and slowly layering over with the blues. I'll probably highlight up to white just like I did on the rest of the scales, and then I'll use a blue ink to go over all of it just to make all of the blue uniform. And as you saw, the paint wasn't making much difference because it's quite thin, but after a few layers you start to see exactly where it's going, and then we just paint with lighter and lighter blues. Again, I'm concentrating where the brush stroke ends. I want the brush stroke to end where I want the lightest point to be. So this is me coming in with a very transparent white and just bringing the highlights up to an, a more extreme. And then we come to like, I guess, kind of more what I imagine to be the fleshy parts of the wing. So again, going with exactly the same color as the base tone. This is an incredibly matte finish. It's the only scale 75 that paint that I have, which is apparently known for being very matte. And yeah, I can agree with the one that I have. Um, I figured that would work well under the wings. There's an awful lot of kind of under wing, so I guess most of that would be in shades. So my plan is just to highlight the very edges of those. Same thing on the top side. With the zenithal highlight, it's mostly white, so it should be lighter up here naturally. But I had a lot of difficulty getting this base coat down, especially on the top over the white for some reason. As you can see, it's incredibly messy, but uh, I did more layers and got it to a better standard before highlighting. And then here, as I say, with the underside, I'm basically just highlighting the edges. Um, so that there is some sort of depth to it, but not particularly high brightness uh, as it's all going to be in shadow. It's all the bottom of the wings. And so continuing that across all of the wings, uh, very much like we saw with the blue scales. So we'll jump straight to the end and this is the end result that I got. I'm actually really happy with it. I think it looks incredibly dramatic. I think painting the blue scales up to white and then going over with a blue ink gave it an incredible saturation, a really cool blue color. Uh, so I really like that. I think the color scheme works quite nicely and I think it's a dramatic looking miniature. I struggled quite a bit with the size of it. Um, it took longer than I expected it to and I was starting to get a bit demotivated towards the end and perhaps rush some of the bits that I shouldn't have rushed but as I say overall very happy with it 
as I said before, this is something I entered into the uh, miniature painting competition that's on Reddit, just a fun kind of community thing. And I don't have the end results yet, but I can tell you currently I scraped in the final selection. Uh, the top five of the beginner group was selected to go to the judge panel and I was fifth in the community vote. So I've just scraped my way into that. I will put the results as a comment down below. I'm incredibly happy I made the final selection to go towards the judges. I don't imagine I'll go any further, um, but I'm really glad that I did it. I recommend anyone doing it. Um, take the pressure off don't have it as like a necessarily prized thing or anything like that Just find a community a forum or amongst friends or something like that It just makes you concentrate on things a bit more and I think that really helps with the learning process I certainly learned a lot while I was going through this process and I'm looking forward to the next one I thank the reddit community for providing um, the competition and I'll let you know how I end up in the comments. But as I say, I'm more, more than happy that I got just to the finals. That's a really cool thing for to happen. And hopefully you like the end result as well. Um, but that is it for the dragon. On to the next one. Bye.